What's up everyone Tech Cloud here and in this video I'm going to show you the unboxing of the next big thing which is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge from Samsung. So let's check out some of the specs written on the box. This is the 32 GB version and this is the platinum gold version and probably this is the first unboxing of a retail model Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge which is in the platinum gold color. Here are some more specs. It has a CAT 6 4G LTE, it has 64 bit octa core processor, and it has a 5.1 inch quad HD AMOLED screen. It has a 16 megapixel camera with the optical image stabilization. It has a 5 megapixel on the front, and it has the wireless charging also, and it has both wireless charging standards built in, which is the Qi and the Power Mac. So let's open the box and uh, let's see what is included in the box and uh, how the device actually looks like in uh, platinum gold. So here we go and that's how the device looks like. Pretty shiny and blingy piece of uh, glass and metal. So we will look at the device later on. Let's check out some of the accessories included in the box. The device comes with the headphone from Samsung. It comes with the SIM removal tool. And it has the standard uh, micro USB cable for charging and the data sync. It comes with the charger from Samsung which will actually enable S6 to charge quickly. And uh, it is called fast charging. It will charge uh, very quickly. So here is the device itself and the device comes uh, pretty tightly packed in the plastic. As soon as I pick up the device, I accidentally managed to power on the device because of that plastic. So that's how the startup screen looks like. Let's get rid of uh, this plastic. So that's how the front looks like and it is pretty familiar with the home button, the typical Samsung home button, but this time it has the fingerprint sensor. S5 used to have the fingerprint sensor as well, but that was the swipe type. But this one is more like a iPhone where you just have to tap your uh, thumb on the fingerprint scanner and uh, it will uh, record your uh, fingerprint. And that's how it uh, shines and uh, it's pretty blingy. The gold color is pretty shiny and uh, blingy. And if you like uh, subtle colors, then it is better to go with the white or black. And also the white and black shows little bit less fingerprints as compared to the platinum gold or the green version. Since in the past I have uh, owned uh, multiple Samsung phones in blacks and whites and grays. So this time I actually wanted something different so I went with the platinum gold. The sides are made out of uh, metal and it is very nice uh, finish. The sides are uh, very thin making it uh, even uh, feel thinner than it uh, actually is. And this is the power button on the right hand side. And on the other side you have the volume rocker with the two separate buttons which is actually very nice touch because it will help you to identify which is the plus and which is the minus. And that's how it looks from the top. And you can see on the right is the SIM tray. On the center you have the IR blaster and on the left you have the noise cancelling microphone and at the bottom you have the speaker grill with nicely drilled holes and you have the mic and you have the USB port micro USB port and you have the headphone jack 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the back you have the 16 megapixel camera with the optical image stabilization and you have the LED flash and you have the heart rate uh, sensor as well this is the welcome screen. Let me set up the device and uh, I will be back. As I started setting up the device, I realized that the setup of this device is little bit different from other Android devices. So let's why not set up this device on camera. It will uh, help some new users. So as you press the next, it will ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. You input the Wi-Fi password. If you have any, then uh, press the next button. It's gonna ask you about the terms and condition. You have to accept them and if you want, you can turn off the 
diagnostic uh, data sent to the manufacturer if you have an old android phone with the nfc capabilities you can uh, use this tab to transfer if you don't have then uh, just uh, skip this one and go to the next one and it's going to ask you about the google account input your uh, gmail uh, account or the google account the username and the password once you have input the information of the username and the password it will try to sign in and once it is signed in you will receive this uh, info this is the date and time and select your uh, correct time zone and uh, this will uh, fix the time for you then you have option to restore the apps and data from a previous device right now i only have the nexus 9 as a previous device whose uh, backup is uh, available but since it is a tablet so i will not restore this one because most of the apps that i have installed on nexus 9 are tablet apps so i'm going to set up this device as a new device your case might be different and if you want to restore a backup from your previous device, just select like that device and restore the backup. Now, if you want to keep on taking backups of uh, this device, then uh, leave this check mark on. I don't want to, so I will uh, uncheck this one. Once you press the more button, you will be presented with these options and I will leave the Google uh, location services and things like that on. However, I will uh, turn off the data transmission to the Google. You might uh, choose different. If you want to participate and you want to help Google to improve Android more, you can leave it on. And then you have an option to create the Samsung account using the Google ID or just a separate Samsung account or you can just sign in. I already have a Samsung account so I will just sign in. And then you have to input your Samsung account details. Once you have signed in, you have option to backup and sync your devices with the Samsung account and then you have uh, option to download the backup data if you press ok it will show you any of the samsung devices that you have previously owned and backed up with your uh, samsung account i have number of devices so i have option to restore but since i'm uh, setting up my device as a new device so i will not actually back up if you want you can press ok and uh, you can sync and select data which you want to sync with it You might not be aware that you can set up your uh, S6 or S6 Edge to always listening and you can set up a phrase whenever you want you can say that phrase and the S6 and S6 Edge will wake up and the S voice will launch and listen to you and wait for your command and you can give any command you want. So you have to set up the wake up command in your own voice uh, multiple times as you can see I did 4 times. So these are the voice command that you can use with the S voice. Finally you have option to add the fingerprint if you want you can use the fingerprint to unlock your device or use it uh, for the web it will recognize your passwords for different websites you can also use the fingerprint sensor to log into your samsung account and that's how you will set up your fingerprint sensor keep on uh, tapping your uh, thumb on the top of the sensor no need to swipe this time only you just have to tap your uh, thumb multiple time until it is uh, fully completed and it shows the message 100 percent complete then you have to input the backup uh, password in case your uh, fingerprint is not recognized you can uh, unlock your device using the backup password after giving the backup password you have to confirm the backup password now the setup is complete and you have option here to turn on the easy mode but i don't think uh, anybody will do that and i don't recommend it after buying such an expensive device, uh, turning on the easy mode will actually hamper the usage of the device. So here is the home screen and uh, it looks very nice. It has a definite 3D pop and now the phone is uh, updating and showing different uh, notifications. 
and that's how the notification shade look like there is no two step notification just one single step notification if you swipe towards left you will find there is briefing or the flipboard since uh, this uh, briefing is still not uh, optimized and it is not uh, as smooth as rest of the OS so I will recommend to turn it off just like I did here The device feels uh, very snappy and the fingerprint sensor works very well as you can see here. No problem whatsoever. However, as expected, uh, you have to turn on the screen first and then you can use the fingerprint sensor. But it works every time. You can turn on the screen by pressing the home button or the power button once and then you can uh, tap the finger on the fingerprint sensor to unlock the device. These are some of the apps that are available on the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge and this time actually the bloatware is uh, very less as compared to previous versions of the Samsung phones and yes there is some duplication still. For example you have the internet browser and also you have the Chrome as well. And then there are Samsung apps which uh, some people might not use but uh, they are actually not uh, bloatware but they are part and package of the TouchWiz uh, experience whether you like it or not but they are there but they are very less as compared to previous uh, versions and uh, there are some third party apps also available but actually these are not the apps these are just shortcuts which uh, will help you to download the actual apps from the Play Store so some people are mistakenly thinking that these are the pre-installed apps and they are going about that there is still a lot of bloatware actually in reality the bloatware is very less and uh, if you use those apps the Samsung apps you might think that there is no bloatware and even some of the pre-installed apps you can uh, disable but there are some apps which you cannot disable which Samsung things are uh, essential to the overall experience so they do not allow the user to disable those apps. Let's check out the available space on the 32GB version of the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge and I have already installed the WhatsApp and I have updated couple of apps and now the available space is 24.75 GB but when I turn on the phone for the very first time actually I took a screenshot and as you can see the available space was 24.82 GB right out of the box. At the moment the experience is pretty good as compared to the previous attempts from the Samsung and the touch whiz is much more smoother than before. And there are still uh, some value added uh, features from the Samsung. We will talk about those uh, features in the coming few days. And at the moment they are uh, beyond the scope of this video. So guys uh, once again let me make it clear. This is the full retail version of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. And this is not the review version. And I have paid the full price for uh, this uh, particular uh, phone. So guys I hope that you have liked the video. And if you have liked it, make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Take care. See you. Bye.